You're a single fellow. Yes. You're very. Uh, you're famous. Uh, you're. Uh, you're good looking. Oh, you're thank you. single. I gotta come you here must more be, often. You must be dating all the time. It must be amazing being Zach I'm Braff. I'm dating a little bit. I um, started to get set up on some blind dates by some friends. I went on a date the other a uh, uh, couple weeks ago, and I was I was early for the date. She she was uh, she texted me. She was late. And Chris Martin, uh, who's a friend of mine from Coldplay, I've known him forever. Sure. Yeah. He walks into the restaurant. And I, we're catching up, and he's being, he couldn't be a sweeter guy. And he notices my date isn't there yet. And he says, um, where's your, what's going on? I said, oh, my date's a little late. She just texted me. I'm on my phone. It's a first date. It's kind of awkward. I'm a little anxious. He goes, do you want me to come by the table and pretend I don't know you and be like, I'm your biggest fan in the entire world? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this sounds, this sounds amazing. That'd be great if you did that, right? Yeah. So he leaves, and my date arrives, and we're having a great dinner. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, like, oh, he'll probably just, like, make a joke on the way out of the restaurant. But um, we're laughing, my date, and I see behind her head, he, he's coming back, and he makes eye contact with me, and he goes... <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, this is really going to happen. Yeah. And he comes over, and he, go he goes, are you Zach Braff? <laughs> He goes, oh, you, I am your biggest fan. <laughs> he goes, all of my music is inspired by... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, Scrubs got me through the hardest times of my life. <laughs> Garden State made me want to write music. Yeah, yeah. And my date is just like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. He goes, you guys are so cute together. I hope this works out. And then he, and then he takes off and he's like, off, skips off into the sunset. Skips. That's he, the one thing he did wrong. <laughs> the one thing he did wrong. Well, blow me, I'm off. La, 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 la. <laughs> but it was amazing because my date was like, I can't believe this just happened. Yeah. I go, I know, it happened. I gotta be honest, it happens a lot, you know. <laughs> did you ever tell her? Of course. I, I didn't want to be like. What do you mean, of course? I would never have told her. <laughs> That's the difference I didn't between want to be us. Like disingenuous. I let it. I let it sit for a good couple minutes, and then I was like, okay, I gotta be honest. I'd have kept that going for years. <laughs> yeah. I would have. After he walked away, I would have said. Who was that guy? Yeah. <laughs> no, but when I, when I looked over at her after he like sold the hell out of it, she was just like, yeah. And I, and I felt bad. I had to, I had to, I had to nope, make it. Nope, I'd have kept it going still. <laughs> Years later, I'd have married her and been like, hold on, hello, Chris Merton again. <laughs>